Okay, now we've gone over big bids, we're going to go over big offers. Big offers are the same thing as big bids, except on the offer side. Let's get started. What are big offers and why are they important? Big offers are offers that are way bigger than normal offers and are shown and represented by as institutional size. Remember the same thing as big bids except with the offers. Very simple. At least 10 times larger in size and with the offers I've been showing previously, you know, relative to what it's overall been showing. They're institutional orders and remember you want to follow what the institutions are doing. Institutions are the big money and they are the guys who move the stock prices. Big offers. If a big offer gets filled and holds, that means the stock's probably going to trade lower. If it lifts, it means it's probably strong. I say that because if it lifts and there's a big offer, that means there's a lot of demand at the price and you know, just ate up a big offer so it'll probably trade higher. You should also notice what happens to the stock when a big offer is placed. See if it quickly trades lower, if it eats it up. You know, a big offers when there's an offer that's noticeably bigger than all the other offers. Usually at least 10,000 shares in size. Remember, they stick out like a sore thumb, and they're usually 10 times larger than what the average offer has been showing. It's all relative to what the other offers have been showing and the volume of the stock. Here's an example. So we see Eli Lilly at 34 showing big offers right here excuse me at 39 right here we have about 16,000 shares 12,000 here 7,000 5,000 5,000 3,000 for a total of about 50,000 more or less on the offer we see these two three four five large offers and you know you gotta keep track of this level right now this is what the stock's showing is that it's up about four percent and a bunch of offers. So at this point, you want to keep track of that level and see what happens at that level. See if it lifts quickly, if it decrements, if it trades lower from there, and so forth. So, what does it mean when there's about 53,000 shares on the offer and about 4,000 on the bid? You know, if the offers don't get taken quickly, it'll probably trade lower. So, you should, you know, keep note of the offers, remember what levels they are, and how much volume they're offering. Cat, for example, right here, 11307 shows a big offer for almost 50,000 shares, 48,200. Remember, you want to keep track of these levels and play off of them. FTNT, almost 100,000 shares, 98,300 shares at 2515. Like I said, keep track of these levels, see if they hold, see if they lift, and remember them. Remember how much volume they've been doing. Okay, in this video, we're going to be going over big offers. And right here you see a big offer. We're going to focus on the right side of the level 2 where the offers are. And right here you spot the big offers on the tape. You see the size way bigger than it is on the bids and way you know bigger than it has been showing before. See right there. And still you see the offer still there and it's still larger than the bids and every other size as far as what every other offer has been showing. Penji documents. It lifted, then it re-offered. So it was a big offer there. They lifted it quickly to 01. They re-offered, meaning the offer went back at 39, and it's stuck there now. And it should see lower prices if it continues to hold below this 39. Because if there was a big offer there, lifted, re-offered, and then now they're selling a bunch again at 39. Again at the re-offer. And now it trades lower. Okay, in this video, watching Groupon the day of the IPO, we're going to keep an eye on the big offers. <coughs> Remember, the offers are on the right side. So let's get started. Just open, you see a big offer there at 28. You see the decrements, which 
Trades lower, big offer. Just keep it on 28. There, another big offer there at 28. Starts decrementing, eventually it lifts. So, right there, you saw a big offer. 28. Big offer again, decrementing, meaning dropping in size. Eventually, it lifts. Okay, in this video, we're watching Groupon again. And we're going to keep an eye on the big offers and watch some decrement as well. Let's keep an eye on 30. You see 30 has big offers. I pause it down. And keep an eye on 30. And keep an eye on the size on the offer. And what we're going to look for is when it goes to 30, we're going to see a bunch of size on the offer. And that's going to be a big offer. Big offers there, huge offer there at 30. And once you see it start decrementing, it finally decrements, should lift, and eventually it does lift. And also, what you can see there is a big offer, doesn't lift, so it trades off that level and trades lower. Okay? So when big offers show a large amount of supply, and you should trade lower once there's a big offer in place. Right now that 95 is showing a held offer and showing a seller. So once they lift, they just did to go to 30. You can see a big offer there at 30. But once that 30 starts decrementing, that's what we keep an eye. If not, the play, well, this was on the day of IPO, so there were no shorts available, shares at least. But if there were, you could have shortened from that 30 and got, you know, covered some below there. And now you see it's slowly decrementing, slowly decrementing that 30. 30 still there. There's a huge seller there. Huge seller still. Now it's decrementing, still decrementing. Now it looks like it's in a lift. Finally lifted. And then it trades higher at that point. So what we saw there was a big offer. And it continued to trade lower. When it hit that big offer, and then finally the big offer lifted and it traded higher. What is an offer decrementing? Offer decrementing is the same thing as a bid decrementing. It's when the offer is reduced in size. Usually it happens when the offer is getting lifted and the level 2 is showing it in real time. Remember, the faster the offer decrements, the more important it is. Remember, speed is very, very important. And you should take note of this and trade off that information. What is decrementing? We previously went over this, but we're going to go over this again. So you see this LI Lily chart we showed before. We showed these big offers here at 39. When you decrement, see all these offers. A little bit after, you're going to see them decrement in size. You see the bid stepped up from there. So when it decrements, remember it was over 50,000 shares. Now there's not that many. And the chance of this lifting is pretty high. So what should, what should you do if a big offer is decrementing? When a big offer decrements, then you should think about exiting your position if you're short, you know, if you're trading in front of that big offer. If it decrements quickly, you should really consider it and you know, really consider exiting because the chance of it lifting are very high. When a big offer decrements, it decrements quickly, you should exit you should consider exiting your short position and possibly, you know, entering along again if all the other indicators are in your favor. And remember that all the other indicators should line up for a higher probability trade. Always remember that. Sometimes there'll be a stock on the verge of a breakout, for example, bull flag or resistance level, and if there's a big offer at the whole number and starts to decrement quickly, then it means that there's a high probability of the chance the stock breaking out and it might be a decent spot to enter long what to do when there's a big offer it's just the opposite of what to do when there's a big bid you usually want to step in front of the big offer and exit if it starts to decrement or lifts you should always keep in mind your real risk and what the underlying offers are doing I say this about your real risk because like I mentioned previously there's a lot of volume being done and it lifts the, ch you know, the chances of slippage are high you know, you're not going to, you know, if say you think you're risking one or two pennies, there's a huge offer and it lifts, you know, you'll probably have five, ten, depending on what the stock's doing, what the overlying offers are. You know, when a big offer lifts, then there'll be more slippage than a regular offer lifts. You should definitely factor that into your risk, you know, risk reward in your trading. And you should always keep note 
of when those are spotted. When there's more size on the offer than there are the bids, it usually indicates the stock should be trading lower or will trade lower. When you see these you know big offers, you want to get in front of them. Like I mentioned before about the big bids, I usually step up by one penny because orders go first in, first out. So I you know sacrifice a penny. But my, the chance of me getting filled are way higher than me trying to get in at that same price except on a different exchange. And you, know, you should always exit if it starts recommending quickly or lifts, if that is a part of your plan. What does a big offer look like on level two? Remember, it looks like the same thing as big bids, except on the opposite side. It's easy to spot, sticks out like sore thumbs. See a couple shares for 100 shares, 2,000 shares, 500 shares, and then, you know, for this example, you'll see a share for 50,000. And it'll look like, you know, 200 shares ARCA at this price, and then overlying offers. So it'll be 50,000 NYC at another price. It's over that price, and then another you know, offer for a lot smaller. And they stick like sore thumbs. There's huge numbers that just show up there on, on the level two. In this example, the big offer is here at 4041, showing 50,000 shares in size, while the others are showing only 200 and 100 shares. Flash offers. Flash offers are the same thing as flash bids. They're big offers that are flash at a price and disappear. Usually happens when a hoarder is hidden. You know, sometimes it shows, but if they really want to see what happens to a stock, you know, they'll put a They'll put a big offer there, see what happens. And like I said about the big bids, they could be fake. Sometimes they are fakes. So you want to keep track of the prints. Remember how much volume that big offer showed and see what happens on the prints, see how much you know volume goes through if it actually trades at that price. You should always keep note of these prices and note the size of the flash orders. It's the same thing as a big offer except it's flashing. So it disappears. And you should always, you know, watch and take note of how the stock reacts to that. Okay, now we're gonna watch for a flash order. Flash orders are orders that they just flash that would be on the bid or offer. You just flash a size and it goes away. Sometimes they're real, sometimes they're not. Okay. Let's rewind a little bit. We see right there around 85. Okay, keep it on this 85 bid. We saw an offer, I mean excuse me, a bid show up there where they flashed it and it disappeared okay where they flashed it and it disappeared and that's a flash they show those just to see what happens in the market okay and right now it was a fake order it was around 85 it was around 85 and they literally just put it on the bids and took it off Right there, you saw it. Flashed it here. 85, showed it, and traded higher. Okay, so right there, that flash bid just showed. They took it out, and it traded higher. They didn't execute the size or anything like that. And the same thing happened there at the 90. Big offer stepping down. So, same thing goes big bid stepping up, except with the offers. Remember, it's the same thing, except vice versa. Sometimes there'll be a big order on the offer, and it'll just stay there to get filled. Sometimes these orders will step down in price in order to get filled. That means the sellers are getting more aggressive. When you see a big order, you usually want to step in front of it, follow the order, exit if it lifts or decrements. Remember, very simple. Same thing as big bids, except for the offer. Offers, people selling, bids, people buying. So if the offer is stepping down, it means you're getting aggressive, and you should follow that trade unless it starts decrementing quickly decrements or lifts. When you spot a big offer, you usually want to step in front of it, exit if it lifts or decrements. Sometimes that big offer will get hit for some stock and the stock will trade lower. Sometimes that big offer will step down the offer by a few pennies in order to get filled. Remember, you want to step in front of these orders and follow them until they get filled. Once they get filled, you exit. It's as simple as that. When a big offer continues to get size, you need to take note of how quickly it is and at what prices. Usually you want to follow these big offers and exit if they lift or decrement. You know, when a big offer is filled and lifts, then you usually want to be out of your short position. Sometimes even enter long if the other indicators are in your favor. Because that indicates that the stock was just hit for size and it'll probably trade higher if that big offer was lifted. Is there more demand at that level than there is supply? 
You know, you usually want to step in front of them and follow them until a lift and decrement. You want to follow these orders because it's what institutions are doing. They dictate where the stock is going. Remember that because it's very important. You want to go with the flow. Say there's a big offer, gets it for some size, and then steps down. That means the seller really wants to get rid of the stock, or even short, even if it's at lower prices. The big offer then gets filled and lifts. You should exit your short position if you got short in front of it, possibly enter long. Again, the other indicators are in your favor. Shows that there's more demand for that stock at that level. Again, big offers lift means there's more demand. They hold means more supply. Can big offers be fake? They could be fake. Like I mentioned about the big bids, you know, you'll know when they're real when it reaches that level and you see prints come through in the offer decrements. Sometimes the offer will stay at the same price and it'll refresh, like we previously talked about in the prints. And you know, you'll know when they're fake because it gets to that price to the price, it disappears and it just trades to that price on no volume, especially nowhere near as volume as what it was showing. And you know, traders put out these big offers to see what the stock does in reaction, and they do it to fool the traders and algorithms. 